Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. Today, Hi. I'm here with my son, Tommy, okay? Tommy's my oldest son. He's in like fourth grade. So he knows a lot of things about words. Maybe we can get some help from him today. What do you say? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so let's take a look at some of our vocabulary words. We're talking a lot about a lot of this stuff in science, too. What's his first word, Tommy? Nighttime. Nighttime. It's the opposite of daytime. And you can see that nighttime sky. Look at all those stars. Well, the nighttime is a dark part of the day. I like to watch the stars at nighttime. Uh-oh, what's the opposite of nighttime? Daytime. I already gave him that answer. Let's move on to question number two. Moon, moonlight. Moonlight, okay? Now this is a compound word. It's two words squeezed together in one word. Moon is a word by itself. Light is a word by itself. Okay, but the moonlight, what is it? It's when the moon sh looks like it's shining, but we learned in science it's not really shining. It's the light from the sun. Moonlight is the moon's glow that you often see at night. Moonlight can help sailors see at night. Now, Tommy, what else can moonlight help you do? Uh, fly to the moon. Uh, what do we do in the beach sometimes at night? Oh, I'll count the stars. We go stargazing at the beach? Um, no, uh, no, and we try and catch things. Oh, oh, that'll be fish. Yes, when I go fishing and it's a full moon, I can see everything I'm doing, putting the worm on the hook. And it's, fish it's love easy. the dark. Oh, fish get very hungry in the dark. That's true, Tommy. Thanks for adding that pointer. Um, we have somebody else chiming in. Tommy, thanks for your help, buddy. We're right. going to ask a different student to come on over. Be very careful of bumping this tripod. Okay. Kid number two. Yep, Jack. This is a surprise. Okay, so Jack is in third grade. Tommy's in fourth, Jack's in third. My kids are in all the grades that I don't teach. Amelia's in first. Okay, so this next one is one of my favorite words in the whole world. I say it to everybody, enjoy. Well, this is enjoyed. Jack, have you seen that before? Uh. If you enjoyed doing something, you really like doing it. We enjoyed playing in a pool on a hot day. Now, Jack, here's my question. What is another word for enjoyed? Enjoying? Well, that's the same word. You can't describe a word using the same word. It can't be in the, oh. the definition. So what would... Having fun. Okay, enjoy can be something like having fun. It doesn't have to be one word. It could be a short phrase. And uh, yeah, you're definitely having fun when you're enjoying something. Let's move on. You know what? I am so delighted, delighted that my son Jack is helping me today. Which brings us to our next word. <laughs> delighted. Shh. If you feel delighted, you are very pleased or happy about something. I am delighted that Jack's helping me today and Tommy. And I would be really happy if Amelia helped. Ling was delighted when her grandmother came to visit. Have a seat. What makes you feel delighted? Let's go to Jack. Jack, what makes you feel delighted? Um. Extra homework? No, not even close. What makes you feel delighted? When you score a goal and you're playing soccer. Ooh, that is. And he made it just in time for the zero buzzer. We had someone else chiming too. Maybe this friend can help us see what else is delighted. Jax, thanks for playing. Enjoy the movie. I'll see you next time. Amelia, come on over. Hello there. This is Amelia Bedelia, Meals on Wheels. And she is going to tell us what she is delighted about. What makes you feel delighted? When I get first place in cheer. When she got a first place in cheer, wow, yes, that's a very happy and delighted feeling. Well, we're very delighted when grandparents come over or spending time with our family. All right. Oh, hello over there. Which brings me to my next point. Neighbor. Amelia, the next card is called neighbor. Can you say neighbor? Neighbor. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the camera a little. <laughs> Uh, a neighbor is a person who lives near you. I went across the street to play with my neighbor. Tell about a neighbor you have. Do you have a neighbor you'd like to talk about? Uh, yeah. Who? Who's a neighbor that you play with sometimes? Who? Uh, 
Um, Speak up. Oh, please don't bang into this or I'm trying to listen to your answers. Um, um, you William. Any? Oh, William is a nice boy who lives down the block. And, um, yeah, it's a nice neighbor to play with. Tell about a neighbor I have. Well, you know what? My neighbor on that side, he helps me when I have to shovel snow in the driveway. And my neighbor on that side, she has a special tool that measures weather or the wind speed called an anemometer. So they're helping me all the time. And they're my neighbors. They're very nice people. Okay, well, we did neighbor. We did the left. Oh! It is snack time. It is snack time. Can we eat? Can we eat? I'm a getting hungry. My belly's kind of grumbly. Grumbled is a low sound. Hey, what are you doing over there? People grumble when they drive and, and they sometimes say things to other drivers. Hey, move it. Hey, the light's green. All right, so grumbled is when you complain about something. Millie, can you, you have a very high-pitched voice, but if I asked you to do your homework, how would you grumble about that? Millie, uh, it's time to do your homework. What's Grumble. Go, I don't want to do homework. Uh, I don't really oh, say well, that. it's a low-sounding grumbling voice. I don't really and say that. Grumbled is something grumbled make a low, rumbling sound. My stomach grumbled because I was hungry. If an engine grumbled, what would it sound like? Oh, I think I hear a grumbling engine over there. Wait, I have one. You got a grumbly sound like Oscar the Grouch almost? I don't want to do my homework. Well, can you make it grumblier than that? I don't want to do my homework. Oh, stop grumbling already. Oh, wait a minute. I asked you to grumble. That was a good thing you did that. Well, yeah. And they always think of that snack time song because uh, it's about people's bellies getting grumbly because they're hungry. Dreamed. He's having a nice dream, maybe of a butterfly or different um, types of things. If you dreamed about something you want to happen, you imagined it happening. And we say we close our minds and we visualize. That's more of like a daydream. This is dreaming. Juan dreamed of being an actor or a superhero when he grew up. He's dreaming about it. It's almost coming to life in his mind while he's sleeping. What is something you have dreamed about? Amelia? Lower yourself so you can see. What is something you've dreamed about? Mm. What kind of dreams? Well, there could be different kinds. There could be scary dreams are called nightmares, but uh, a good dream. Can you share a nice dream you've had? Let's see. Let's see. I would love oh, to dream oh, about oh, unicorns. Oh. Well, I, I had a dream that the ice cream man came and I finally got ice cream. How come I wasn't in your ice cream dream? Well... That's okay. Um, it can't be in other people's dreams. It's only kind. one person that dreams about it. But there wasn't good kinds of ice cream. Oh, well, that sounds like the ice cream's changing. All right, now this is the last, but definitely not least. We went on an adventure. Have you ever been on an adventure like this, Amelia? Yeah. Yeah, and what do they call that when you go walking in the woods? Um, like hiking. Hiking, yes. Hi if someone likes adventure, they're doing exciting and unusual things. I want to travel around the world and find adventure. Where might you go to find adventure, Amelia? On your, what? Where do you go to find adventure with William? What do you take? What kind of transportation do you take to get to his house? I'm um, a bicycle. Okay, she's going on a bicycle adventure. I want to go on a koala bear adventure. Um, but uh, there's a place called Great Adventure that has lots of action-packed things that you can do. Uh, but yeah, talking all about adventure. And uh, we kind of are on a, a remote teaching and learning adventure, being the best learners we can be at home. Uh, it's kind of a new thing. It's exciting. But uh, everybody have a super day. And thanks, thanks again, Tommy, Jack, and Amelia. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Bye! Now, how would you say goodbye in Spanish? Adi I do it a different way. Well, say it. Um, I do it like in that kind of. Okay, well, adios. Bye.